We're at the 25th anniversary of Thomson Reuters Marketing Partner Forum. One of the most well-received sessions of the conference was Metrics That Matter, and we are fortunate enough to be joined by Jill Weber, one of the faculty members. Jill, thank you for joining us. Delighted to be here. For those of you who don't know Jill personally, you probably know her at least by reputation. She is known throughout the industry as a thought leader. She is the Chief Marketing and Business Development Officer over at Stinson Leonard Street. So your session was all about measurement. Mm -hmm. You can't change what you can't measure. What are two or three of the most important metrics that law firms need to be thinking about when they're thinking about measuring and measuring success? Yes. So during our session, we talked about mainly three key categories. One is financial metrics, which are traditionally what law firms look at, those internal data points. But second are those external market metrics, because we don't often look at what is the market for that service. What are the industries that are key? What are the primary drivers in the geographies where we have offices? And then third, and even more important, is voice the client. What do client interviews and client feedback tell us? What do national client surveys say about what clients want? All of that should inform the decisions that firms make about their strategy. So let's dig a little deeper into those three categories. Mm -hmm. The industry, we're pretty good when we look at financial. Mm -hmm. We're pretty good at the internal viewpoint mm -hmm. of looking at what our realization rates are or utilization rates or you know, we do that well. When you say the second bucket is really market information, market data, mm -hmm. if you're a firm, where do you start? Where are a couple of places and a couple of metrics that you really want to focus on? That's a great point. So we had the benefit of having um, Evan Parker of Lawyer Metrics there, and he had a wealth of geographic market data that he could share, so that's one resource. Are those service providers that have that data? Alternatively, you can also look at some of the industry data that might come out of state and local chambers of commerce, where they would mm -hmm. have that kind mm -hmm. of aggregated data. And then the third idea is um, there are a lot of organizations in our industry like BTI Consulting just released um, a survey where they talked about what are the key practice areas by industry. So that might not have that geographic market right. data, but it allows some additional insights that you might not have from your own internal firm data. Are there some metrics that we used to look at that we don't need to look as closely as we mm -hmm. used to? Mm -hmm. Great point. So one of the things Steve Petrie talked about is that uh, firms focused on realization and now we're looking more at margin. Right. And so margin really takes into account what's the full rate of the billable hour and what's the cost of that hour and what's left is that profit and the margin, whereas realization is a different kind of a metric and how important it was. And so in a case study that we did, we really were helping people to evaluate the difference between those Great. as well as leverage, which often drives the margin. Oh, that's terrific. That's yeah. terrific. If I'm working at a firm and I'm listening to you speak and I want to take it back and say, I really want to get started on some metrics. Where do I start? So great question. Where I would start is, first, what do you have? Like, what are the financial metrics that your firm is accustomed to looking at? And then look at some benchmarks in, in, in the industry. There are things like peer monitor. There are okay. the city um, surveys. All look at those types of things and see what they're measuring and make sure you have the same internal metrics. Second, look at what you know from the clients. If you don't do formal client feedback interviews, at least go and look at some external data, but then interview some key relationship partners to get their feedback. And third, as we just discussed, look at some of that existing market data in the geographies where you have offices mm -hmm. and take some of that, but then you'll have to drill it down a little bit because too much data can also be overwhelming. So you really need to focus on right, are those right metrics for your firm. And once you have those benchmarks and you know where you are as a firm, you think that's where you can create a roadmap. Absolutely. You need to know where you are, and that'll help inform where it is that you want to go. Great. You are not just one of uh, our faculty, but you've also been an attendee. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, what session or sessions have you found either most interesting, most valuable? What are you going to take back to your firm? So overall, at the Marketing Partner Forum every year, I come for the attendees. The quality of the attendees is exceptional, and so it's the networking. It's getting a chance to catch up with you with so many different people during the break. So that, to me, is the key takeaway. The second session that was really informative to me was the one on legal project management, um, and there were three really great case studies from law firms on how they implemented it with some real road testing. And then third, I always look forward to the voice of the client, so the client panel is always a terrific addition. Right. Right.